were asked to evaluate or simplify the following radical expressions. We're told to assume that the variables represent any real number. Notice the three radical expressions are all square roots, and therefore the index is two, and because two is even, and the radicands contain variables of real expressions, we need to remember that if the index is even, and the radicand has variables of real expressions that simplify, we must include an absolute value around the simplified variables of verbal expressions with odd exponents to assure the value is non-negative. Looking at our first expression, this is the principal square root, and therefore the result must be an expression that is always positive. And we know the square root undoes the squaring, and therefore this simplifies to one factor of q plus one. But again, because this expression must always be positive, it simplifies to the absolute value of the quantity q plus one. Referring back to our reminder down here, because the index is even, and this simplified to an expression, the quantity q plus one raised to the first power, because one is odd, we had to include the expression in an absolute value. We can also rewrite this as just the absolute value of the quantity q plus one. Now let's select a value of q to confirm why we need the absolute value. Let's consider q equals negative four. If we substitute q equals negative four into the original radical expression, we would have the square root of the quantity negative four plus one squared, which would be the square root of the square of negative three. And we know the square of negative three is equal to positive nine. And now let's evaluate this by using our simplified expression of the absolute value of q plus one. So we'll substitute negative four for q in our simplified expression, which would give us negative four plus one, which would give us the absolute value of negative three, and the absolute value of negative three is positive three. So notice how without the absolute value though, this would be the square root of positive nine is equal to negative three, which is not true. It's equal to positive three. So here's an example of why we need the absolute value. Next, we have the opposite of the square root of the quantity y plus three squared. So because we have a negative in front of the square root, the simplified expression must always have a negative value. And because the square root undoes the squaring, it's not just the opposite of the quantity y plus three, it's the opposite of the absolute value of the quantity y plus three. Again, notice how the absolute value is always going to be positive but because we have a negative in front of the absolute value, the result is always going to be negative, which is what we need. Again, because the index is even and the simplified expression, y plus three is raised to the first power, which is odd, again, we need the absolute value. Of course, we can also write this as the opposite of the absolute value of the quantity y plus three. Now, for our last example, before we try to simplify the square root, we need to factor the radicand or the trinomial under the square root. So we have the quantity y squared minus four y plus four. This will factor into two binomial factors. We have y squared here, so we have a factor of y and a factor of y in the first positions. The second positions will be the factors of positive four that add to negative four, which would be negative two and negative two. So we have the quantity y minus two times the quantity y minus two, which we can write as the quantity y minus two squared because we have two equal factors. So we can write this as the square root of the quantity y minus two squared. Again, the square root undoes the squaring. This simplifies to one factor of y minus two. But again, because the index is even and the simplified variable expression is raised to an odd power, the power of one, it simplifies to the absolute value of the quantity y minus two in this form or the absolute value of the quantity y minus two. I hope you found this helpful.